so today's the day we close on our house today so yesterday we did the final walkthrough the cool thing was i found a bunch of like storage closets that i hadn't seen yet like i found this huge closet where it's like under the stairs to put like christmas decorations and things like that so I was like ex really excited about that because it's storage, but I thought I was gonna have to put it in a different room. You'll see, I'll, I'll vlog when I'm there, but I cannot believe we're closing on a house today. Like I had the chills thinking about it. So we closed today at five. It was um, so smooth, like so smooth. But yeah, I'm just so excited. We're gonna own a house, but we don't move in for 10 days because they do have like 10 days still in the house because they're moving into another house that they just built so they needed to like stay there for a while so it was like part of our you know contingency whatever plan so yeah but we you know i think they probably are going to be moved out before then that's what they said so or their realtor told our realtor that which is crazy so now i'm like you know, once we sign today, like I'm, I'm just kind of waiting, but the good news is it's right around Labor Day. So there's a ton of Labor Day, Labor Day sales because we're going to have to buy, I have a whole list right here. We're going to have to buy a washer and dryer. Um, I need to get a really big, I want to get a huge dining table um, for our dining room because I want to host Thanksgiving. <laughs> And so I'm, I have this one picked out from West Elm that I love, but the chairs are now like on back order or something. So I'm kind of like, oh shit. Um, so I might have to pick out new chairs, but then I need a bed frame because we're going to upgrade to a king because, you know, we need to upgrade to a king. So we have that and then we need to get a mattress. I have to get carbon monoxide detectors. Oh my God, there's going to be so many vlogs to do. I'm so excited. I talked to my mom the other day and I literally wrote down like a million ideas of things to do. And, you know, I'm just going to try to crank it out and like vlog every aspect of my life <laughs> from now on. Like cooking, reno, um, nighttime routine, blah, blah, blah. Shopping for things, hauls. I actually have a huge um, haul that I have to do. It's like I, bu I bought a bunch of, hold on. I bought a bunch of like kitchen equipment so not kitchen equipment but i bought a bunch of stuff for the new house and i actually just bought this too because i saw this in somebody else's channel and i thought it was so cute i bought this from walmart it's just like a little bamboo dish drying rack and it actually makes everything look like very organized so i have a ton of stuff and i'm gonna order more stuff so i'll do like a big home haul of the things that i buy for our house but like i get to buy stuff i you know i'm starting to like really I feel like good about investing. Like I've always bought like Ikea, you know? And I never really just committed to design or a style or anything just because we never like own something. I've always felt like a transient in a way, you know? I'm like, I just don't know how long we're gonna be here. And now that we know we're gonna be here for a while, like years, <laughs> it's so much like, you know, I can like put my roots down and really, I could have committed earlier, but you know, anyway let me show you what i'm gonna wear so actually i just showed this in my express video but i'm so glad that i got these shirts because it's so cute for closing and i actually have nice clothes for the closing today you know i just love these tops they're so cute oh my god but they remind me of new york so okay i have to be honest i want to talk about this really quick <laughs> so i just have to talk about this because i know it's been on my mind personally okay so i just want to discuss so i've been thinking about new york a lot still and it's not like a buyer's remorse type of situation because i'm i it's my dream house that we just bought like we bought my dream house i 100 percent believe that i manifested this because i just it has everything and i'll talk about it later when i do like my house tour but i still like have that in me where i feel like the pull of new york city and I, you know, what I, what I want to do is I do ideally want to, and now that Jarvis has a new job and he's like, you know, he'll get vacation time and things like that. He didn't have that before. We'll be able to plan it out a little bit better, but I honestly ideally would want to go like four times a year to New York. If I can't live there, I still believe that one day I will live in New York, but I do, I just want to be honest because I do still 
want to live in New York once in my life. And I, but I do, you know, like, I think about it all the time. I'm still obsessed with New York. I still watch, like, every people that vlog there. Like, I just love that city more than anything else in the world. It's my favorite place in the whole world. I don't want to go anywhere on vacation. I don't want to go anywhere else in the United States. I, I couldn't care less. I just want to go to New York. I love that freaking city. And um, <clears throat> so anyway, that's my stance because I'm not like, oh my God, I never, you know, now we're like Ohio, we're always going to live in like a house or, you know, whatever. I don't know. I just want to get off my chest because I've been wanting to, to talk, like to tell somebody. <laughs> and I do still... I don't know, like, a part of me feels guilty that I want to live there still after, like, we're buying a house, hello, like, focus on that, but I still, you know, like, I still just love New York. So, anyway, you know, I don't want to, like, take away from our, the excitement of our other house, but I just love this top, you guys. I loved that express haul I did on my main channel. Such a great, such a great haul, and I actually have, like, nice clothes to wear, so... Okay, that's all I have to say. Bye. Oh my god. First of all, hold on. I need to maybe like figure out myself before I turn this freaking thing on. I'm sitting here. So yesterday we closed on the house and it was like 30 minutes. We were like, wait, what? I got all dressed up like to go over there. And then, you know, it is what it is. It took 30 minutes, which was great, I guess. So, all right, I look a little bit better, but not by much. So, I just sat here, and I cannot believe, I mean, I spent a lot, but it's like, I've been meaning to invest. Oh, I spent a lot, but at the same time, I didn't for what I got. At least that's what I'm telling myself right now, you know what I mean? Jarvis just texted me, he says he, it looks amazing. So, I did get a... Uh, Oh shoot, where's that other picture? So I did get this chair right here, or this table. So it's, I am going mid-century modern for this house. I just feel like it makes sense because that's just my favorite style. So this is the chair that, I, the table I got, and it should be coming in September, like end of September. So I got this one, it's so gorgeous, it's a walnut. And then I actually got the biggest size, so it came in like a 72 or something inch, and you could add in, I think, like a leaf to it or something, but I got the biggest one, so it sits like 10 people. And then these chairs I love, and they're really expensive though, and they weren't on sale, so I did get only two of those, and I'm going to put them at the, like, head of the table, like right here, and then the other chairs I got are right here, and I got uh, four of these, so I'm going to put them like you know, seated, here, I'll move this over. I'm gonna put them, they're both, they're all walnut, so they'll fit, and this is actually vegan leather, so this is actually a little bit lighter. The seat is a little lighter than what the picture's showing, but um, it's all walnut, so it'll match, but I'm gonna put them right here. So these are gonna be like contrasting. I thought they'd be cute, it was like a good, you know. Okay, so that's what I he knew I was buying was this table, which I just, I'm obsessed with this table. It's gonna be so fun to decorate this, okay. So then I found these and I almost like literally pooped myself. So these were on super sale, like super, super sale. And these right here are actually a dupe. Let me pull it up because I took a screenshot. Um, these are actually a dupe right here for the um, restoration hardware. Like, and when these come in, these are like, I mean, they're pretty much, they're a pretty good dupe. They're like a really good dupe. I actually like this one better, and this is West Elm, which is the one that I got. I actually like it better, but I first saw this in somebody else's video, like this really rich girl, <laughs> and uh, I love them, and it looks so chic, so I was like, oh, that is so amazing. So these are the Tahoe ones. So I got this one, and then the, the dresser was on sale too, so I was like, oh, that's so cute. I'll get it, and they were really, really like affordable. So that's what I ordered, and it's going to look really cute. But I didn't want to go because I have so much wood here. <laughs> I didn't want to go with, like, a bed that was also wood. Like, you can see it's pictured right here. It's just too much. So I was obsessed with getting, like, a linen or, like, a fabric bed. And I was really going back and forth with it because originally I had, like, a mid-century modern bed in my cart. And then I just was like, you know what, no, I feel like I need that, you know, 
that juxtaposition. So here, let me like literally put it right next to this. So I just felt like that looks so chic. I'll do like really nice like linen, um, very simple bedding also. And then I might do even like sconces to keep stuff off of these side tables or I'll just try to make it very minimal. But I just absolutely love this. I think it looks so cute. It'll look even better if it's not like gray, but yeah. So then that this is what it looks like, like all of this too. Plus this is a different, this is oak and like the dining room table set or whatever, like, hold on, let me pull that back up. Like this is all walnut, you know what I'm saying? So I just, I don't know. It, it had to make sense. And like all the beds that I liked were all in walnut color and not oak. Like I didn't like any of the oak beds. So I just was like, okay, I have to do like a canvas style bed. So that's my first, whoa, <laughs> that's my first like home purchase. I'm like, oh my God, that was a lot of money. <laughs> that was a lot of money, but honestly, like I really don't have that much more to buy. You know, I kind of like, rushed it a little bit but here's like why I rushed it because I want to have Thanksgiving like either one of our families I don't care like which one it is or if it's both or you know I just want one of them to come if it's Jarvis's parents I want them to come like I just want somebody to be here for Thanksgiving because I've always wanted to host Thanksgiving and I've never had like the space to do it I just I've always wanted to do it I love kitchen stuff and like cooking and just I just have been obsessed with that and like decorating the table I've just never had a reason to do it I've never had the space for people to come over even here in a three bedroom I don't have the space for people to come over you know what I'm saying so now that I have it I'm like so excited oh my god I'm so excited so um and I think we got Jarvis's parents to say that they would come over which is good <laughs> so we have one people one per like you know we at least have somebody committed so I, do, I guess I could clean up and do th some things around here and like just get everything ready. I mean, I've been kind of packed. We're going to do a self move because you know how the nightmare one was. So, you know, my brother's coming. He's young. So. I'm young. I can move stuff. <laughs> That's all I have to say for today. I will keep you updated on everything that happens. If I buy anything else, you're going to know about it. <laughs> A good thing to be sweating when I just self tanned but I just took the bed apart by myself it was so easy I have once again no idea why it took them like an hour to put that together the movers our movers aka enemy number one of many one of 100 that I have but I just put together her took that apart so I really probably should look at the couch now because I need to take that apart also. Just like, that's like the last thing we need to like really take apart before we move. Now I have to get you into the crate and he has the zooms right now. Boo, we're about to go to your new house. You're done with apartment living. You did your time. You did your time. He's like actually insane right now. All right, let's see if I can do this. Let's see if I can do this. He's going crazy in there. Boo, <laughs> fine. Alright, 
Lizzy. <laughs> I know, it's scary. Look at all the room you have. Check it out. Don't, I wouldn't go down there right away. Look, Bowie. <laughs> Where are you going right away? You choose to go downstairs? Boo. I probably shouldn't have let him out like that. Okay. Oh my God, he's got a lot to do. But you guys, I just opened up the fridge. How sweet. They left us champagne. Oh my God, that's so nice. That is so freaking nice. Aw. Look at him. Boo, that's your new pool. That's your new pool. <laughs> oh, there's our hot tub. We gotta fill that up. We gotta fill that up, huh? So, <laughs> I have to set up our internet and it's like a self setup. I don't even know why. It's like, what decade do we live in? Seriously. So, we have Spectrum now, which is just, blah, 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 which is great. Um, I'm assuming this goes to here, right? Cable? Okay, wait, cable outlet, yeah. Okay, so this goes to here. Cable, I did order cable, so we can watch cable now, thank God. I had to have my Hallmark channel. You guys, this is such a perfect house for Hallmark. And like watching it during the fall with the fireflies gown. Like, shut the hell up. You know what I mean? Like, just shut the hell up. Okay. So, this is the internet, I think. I don't have a freaking... Any scissors, nothing. I have... I, I'm out in the wild like Bear Gryllis. Trying to get this stuff open. So, connect one end of the cable outlet. Okay. Connect the power cable to your modem. And plug the other into an electrical outlet. Oh, shit. Um, literally, what? Where is that? Oh no, oh no. Jesus God. So, I just set up our Wi Fi, but I need to find out. You know, what's going to be really kind of interesting is seeing where the best lighting is. This is actually pretty good because the recessed lighting is nice. Ooh, that's nice. I like it. So, um, I really want to bring over my little. I bought like these brass knobs at the thrift store. Oh, you know what I need to do? I need to bring in all my stuff because I have a ton of my thrifted finds. <laughs> They've been sitting in my trunk for so long and they're just like, it's just like hundreds of depression glass <laughs> sitting in my trunk. It's like actually not okay. So I need to bring those inside and then I forgot to bring food over. So I'm freaking starving. First, I'm gonna try some dip. And I'm like actually gonna throw up. It feels like I'm going to do it. It really do. So I went to Whole Foods yesterday. I drove 30 minutes to go there. You know me. Just I will drive to the ends of the earth to go to Whole Foods. So I bought this. This is new. It's Kite Hill Soft Spreadable Cheese Garlic and Herb. I was like, all right. Yeah, I'll give it a shot. I'll give it a shot, why not? Um, oh, this smells good. This is such a good like little, if you're having a party, by the way, the 365 from Whole Foods brand, these are so good. And every cracker is vegan, by the way. These are my favorite anyway. <laughs> I say that, but then these are still my favorite. Okay. I'm just gonna do this. No one has to know. No, the dip's good, but this cookie, this cracker is so dry. You're making me out to be like a liar. I'm gonna try this one. Ew. 
Mm-hmm. Hopefully it was just that one, but they usually don't taste like that. It was like it just disintegrated like into powder in my mouth. I'm trying out new like camera spots. So I got this gorgeous bath mat, like so fluffy, right? From Ikea. So I'm gonna go put this in our um, bathroom. But then I got um, these also from Ikea, these like floral, oh my God, gorgeous. These were $14. And I got this really pretty like modern from the fall section, like a napkin holder. I thought that would be pretty on the table, but I found this most gorgeous vase at Home Goods. I was just absolutely dying over it. So this was $14.99. So I'm gonna put my little fake flowers in here. Sorry, I got this stuff from Marshalls, not Home Goods. If I said Home Goods at any point, dismiss that. So pretty. Well, kind of. kind of, not that great, but whatever. Whoa, that looks pretty bad, but what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? You're gonna, actually, what I will do is I'll try to fix it. I don't want my new house to look uggo. I just spent a lot of money on this. I mean, it's like, it doesn't fit under there at all, but it looks a little bit better. So, all right, um, what else did I want to show you? I'm going to do like a thrifted haul, but I do want to show you guys like some of the gorgeous stuff I got that's not thrifted, that's like new. So I found this store, I love it. I think I might've talked about it before, maybe I haven't, but oh, these are sheets, Ikea. It's called Burlap and Birch, and it's at the Fairfield Crossing Mall in beaver creek i found the most amazing stuff look at this oh my god and this was only 24.99 so i was thinking like kind of by the stove doing like a little bit of a you can't see that doing a little bit of like a this moment you know a little bit of all oh, wow. something like that so, oh my god, so cute. Okay, next. I got a ton of stuff there. Um, I think these are all plates. And you know, these are just like, they were too pretty. They remind me of my, um, they got the gold like edge. But they remind me a lot of the ones that I have from Time and Table. So I thought these would be kind of nice to add into the mix. Look at this one. These are way too nice for me to have. And then I found this one, which is just like, um, my God. Yes. I love like specialty stores now that I'm a homeowner. Um, like that, you know, it's like where not everybody could like get that, you know, kind of like a boutique a little bit. So, um, I have more though, let me get it. So then I have this, let's see. This is also burlap and birch. So, oh, I think I know what this one is. I bought the most gorgeous tea petal. Wait till I, I have to get the top, hold on. Should be in here. Stop it. Stop it. So yeah, I'm gonna put this like over here, I guess, for now. And then I have, I think I bought 
a bowl? Did I? I did. I bought this bowl. I thought it was so cute just to like put little stuff in or something. I don't know. You know, just stuff. So that's that. I also got a Cincinnati Reds keychain that I forgot about from Rally House. So let's hope, wish, and pray that they make the playoffs. Hopefully they will. I don't know. Dude, you know my friend Emma. There she is, if you forgot what she looks like. But I got a freaking email the other day. She's in, she's in, I think, High V, down in Southern Illinois. So if you live in Southern Illinois, by like ISU, she's in, she's in stores, okay? Like major stores, she's in them. She's crazy. I almost cried when I saw it. I don't even know why, but it's just like, to see other people like that succeed is, that's, you know. Usually it's just the enemy that succeeded. That's what it feels like, but. So I got these new ones. She came out with new, um... oh my God. <laughs> she came out with, these are stickers, how hilarious. How does she even make this shit? Um, a note. She came out with new seasoning, so I bought some. Um, it's the You're, You're So Hot, which I'm super excited to try. You're So Hot. And this is a um, Cajun flavor. She was telling me about this. Cajun flavor, spices, garlic, herbs, and heat. What, boo? You're okay. Look at her packaging, by the way. It comes with like basil leaves, cinnamon sticks. Just gorgeous. And then this one is the Hala At Me. It's an all-purpose blend. Um, tangy, peppery, jalapeno, and garlic seasoning. So you can put this on like chicken, meat, eggs, potatoes, corn, shrimp. Um, oh my God, so exciting. So yeah, I am going to, I'll put this over here. I'm super excited about that. Emma, you're freaking awesome. I might keep these as potpourri actually. The cinnamon sticks. Don't mind if I do. And I think I'll keep the bay leaves as well. I'll keep them in my little bowl. Oh my God, so cute. When you can use your friend's packaging as literal decor, you know your packaging's good. I just edited, I have my thing editing or uploading or whatever. Whatever it's called. How long have I been doing this? <laughs> the reason why I actually really got on here is because I just got a call from my apartment complex that the subleasers went, it went through and they got approved. So, yay. I freaking, they got approved. The day we move in, they got approved. Gosh, like it's so meant to be. It is so meant to be, I'm telling you. I was gonna talk about this. I was gonna say it on my video and I for freaking forgot, but I had a list, literally, of every single thing I wanted in a house. And it was things that were so specific. Like I wanted a walkout basement. You know what I'm saying? Like stuff like that and like a pool. I wanted a pool. I wanted like this like woodsy view of like, you know, not feeling like you're in Ohio, but you, like maybe like you're somewhere else. Cause I feel like it feels like Colorado to me here. The, just the views and like the trees and I just love it. And like just the open concept also of just this space. I just, I cannot believe, like I feel like, you know, it's so exciting to buy your first home, but to feel like you made like a good investment feels good. You know, it's just so, epic this place and I cannot wait to transform it with like my personal touch and it's got such good bones and another thing I wanted to mention in my um, let me stand up another thing I wanted to mention in my video that I didn't was that first of all I love that this house is very unique like you know it's not like that cookie cutter like the 2021 new homes we were maybe even going to try to custom like do a custom home and then I saw this place on Zillow and I was like nope this is it. It's got the pool already. I'm not gonna have to do it myself. Somebody else did the work to put this pool in. I'm just gonna buy it like this. And I just, I, it was like different. I wouldn't even have thought of this. And there's things like, because we went and tried to do a custom home, like we went through the process of, we were like right there about to buy a lot. And I was picking out the customizations, but one thing you realize when you pick out those customizations on a new home, 
is that everything is so much money. Fireplace added on, so much money. Windows added on, so much money. Windows in a bathroom, so much money. It's more, it's add-ons, literally. To add th little things that you wouldn't even expect. I mean, obviously, uh, adding another car garage, something that you have to expense for, um, you have to budget for. Like, just, just things. Okay, things, an, a patio, a sunroom. That was like a $50,000 upgrade was to get a sun, a morning room, sunroom. So it's stuff like that. Okay, and then the other thing I wanted to mention is there's obviously, as you can see, a lot of wood, okay? Wood trim, wood trim on the windows. I think probably a lot of people, especially people my age, would probably look at the wood trim and be like, ew. Honestly, when I see this wood trim, even though it's maybe outdated or whatever, I feel like it, it is a testament to how the house was made because this house was made almost 50 years ago. It was made in the 80s, um, like early 80s. So it's, it's old. And I think houses were made better back in those days. So I kind of, I like all these wood accents. And, and to be honest with you, I feel like they're gonna come back into style, like big time. I just do. So. You know, I'm gonna keep them. I'm not gonna paint over them with white. I am gonna keep every wood door. You know, some of the wood doors are a little bit outdated, but I might change like the hardware on them or something. But I like the wood trim on everything. I like it on the windows. It's, this is a house made of wood. Um, another thing that I want, that I'm not going to change. I've thought long and hard about this. See how this wall has like texture and it's, once again, sort of an outdated sort of, you know, like, thing. I'm going to keep this. I actually like it. It adds interest, in my opinion. In some rooms, like, I, specifically, like, the bathroom downstairs, way too much. There's way too much, okay? The, the, some of it's got to be, like, sanded. But this, I think, is tasteful. You can really barely see it until you get up close. But I feel like with the right accessorizing and the right furniture and like nice pieces next to it. Like a big, what I plan to do is I do plan to do like a big, huge mirror right here, like seven foot. And um, the anthropology one would look cute, but I don't think I want to spend that much. But I think it'll look pretty if it's white and then just like contrasted with like nice pieces that are like, you know, modern. I think it will look modern. And I think it will look cool. And I see people intentionally putting now texture on their walls. So I feel like, you know, I don't want to spend a whole lot of money to like renovate something or, you know, go over something or fix, fix something when a lot of stuff comes back into style very quickly, you know, especially like, you know, I just see a lot of stuff just come back in. So I, I'm not going to change a whole lot. Like if I'm going to change something, it'll be a light fixture, for example. That's how it go. That's very how it go. I'm going to change a light fixture or paint. I'm not going to do anything myself personally. That's just not my wheelhouse. I'm not going to do like a myself bathroom renovation. Like that's just never going to, I'm never going to do that. Just don't worry about it. I'm never going to do it. Um, I will pay somebody. But, um, you know, just painting and like changing the knobs out. Just simple things that anybody can do. That's the refreshes I'll do, but I'm not going to like destroy anything. I love this house. I, I honestly love it just the way it is right now. If I changed nothing, I would love this house still. And that's how I know I bought a good house. Thank you very much.